Hi there, it's Maria Vega here with the Open Flamenco Project, your online place to learn everything about flamenco and Spanish dance. So today, again, I'll be doing a tutorial about how to play castanets. So this is just a series of exercises to help you improve your technique and your speed when playing castanets. I'm super excited to announce that I'm going to be teaching live in central London from this September 2019. So if you want to join me, just find all the details here underneath so you can book your space and join the fun of learning flamenco and Spanish dance with me. You can use my exercises as a guideline and then you can create your own exercises and challenge yourself every day and then just keep playing it and playing it and coming up with some uh, new exciting combinations so are you ready for the challenge go put your castanets on we are going to start now let's practice our ria ria pita which is one of the most common uh, things we do with the castanets, okay? So remember, the four fingers scratch the right castanet or the left if you are uh, left-handed. A, ah, we do it again, ri, a, ah, and then pi, ta, okay? Let's practice, i, ri, a, ri, Notice that I'm really opening my fingers and that you can listen to four fingers here and one here. So there's five sounds. Let's go for a bit of a more challenging combination. Okay, we start focusing on clarity. Now we double the speed. Now we're gonna combine ching with pita, okay? So ching, pita, ching, right, left, ching, right, left, ching, right, left. There you go, ready? E, ching, pita, 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 ching, pita. Good job, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now let's combine both exercises. Ta, ria, ria, chimpita, ria, ria, chimpita, ria, ria, chimpita, 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 ria, ria, chimpita. Okay, a bit faster, let's challenge ourselves. Five. Exercise to work on your ria or your carretilla to work the independency of the fingers. Okay, so 
uh, we're gonna name one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one, five, two, five, three, five, four, five. Okay, that's what we're going to do. No more. And we can call it how as well? Pita, 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 pita. That's right. Pita, 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 pita. We do this three times. And then the last one, we're going to scratch the castanet and actually do a ria. Ria, 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 ria. Okay? Again, E. Pita, 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 one. It's gonna be the four, okay? Once again. If you feel brave enough, you can just increase the speed, but always listen to yourself and make clarity a priority. Sound is the thing you need to focus on. The speed will come, but let's give it a try. Five and six and seven. I... Five and six and seven. I... fun let's put it all together with a song in our minds that we all know is we will rock you from queen okay so we're gonna start chimpita 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 Once again, yeah, with this song, it's easy to remember all the basics of playing castanets. So, the chimpita, the tapi, and the ria or carretilla. Once again, e chimpita, chimpita, chimpita. You can play the song at home. E I really hope you enjoyed this video. Just it would be really, really great if you could give me a like. Also remember to subscribe to my channel not to miss any of the videos that I will be uploading. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!